Mexican Special, Part 3 of the Mississippi Beer Reviews. The third, <clears throat> Saul. I've heard people pronounce it Soul, but to me, when you see S O L, it's Saul. But whatever have you. Saul is another Mexican beer. Don't honestly know a whole lot about it, guys. I didn't really do a whole lot of research here. It's made by the same company that makes Dos Equis, which is uh, Cerveza Mexicanas, which is imported to White Plains, New York, and then distributed in the United States. There's what the bottle looks like. It has a sun on there. It says Cerveza Importada, which means imported beer. Okay, here's a year. Okay, so it was established in 1899, Monterey, Mexico. Well, I actually uh, came across this. I was at my local Walmart, and I found a 12-pack of beer that had four saws. It had four Dos Equis and four Tecates. And when I saw it, that it had this one that I've never tried before, I said, okay, I'm going to get it. I like Dos Equis and I like Tecate, so I'm going to try this. So, here we go. Oh, and by the way, it is 4.0% alcohol. And it contains 123 calories. I couldn't find any uh, information about carbs. To be honest with you. I mean, I didn't spend just hours of researching it. But the uh, particular site that I was looking on, I can't even remember the name of the site now, but um, it didn't specify what the carbs were. And, of course, the bottle doesn't either. One thing that I did read online, supposedly you can order this beer from the distributor off the internet, and they'll deliver a six-pack to your house ice cold. Don't know how much truth there is to that, or whatever have you, but that is what I read. Alright, very elegant looking in the glass. Maybe I can top this off without it. There we go. A mushroom top on there. Um, yeah, clear to straw appearance. They actually call this an American style adjunct lager. <clears throat> this beer, once again, one person says that it does not contain adjuncts, another person says it does. I honestly don't know. I'm going to try to see if I can pick up any adjuncts. But if I can't, I'm not going to give my opinion on it. So, mostly I'm just picking up the barley malt. You can smell a little bit of the um, the hops in the background notes. Not as many bubbles streaming up as you would normally assume, but it does look very presentable in a glass. So, whatever. The most important thing is, is the taste test. Hmm. It tastes great, to be honest with you. It's, um, at first, you get this nice little rush of barley malt and very light, hence the word very, light hops. 
you get this explosion in your mouth of light hops, barley malt, a little bit of carbonation, and then it, it just suddenly just it's just drops off. And it finishes out very, very smooth and very refreshing. Mouthfeel is light and watery, as you would assume, seeing as how you know, clear that it is. You can probably see me through it. <clears throat> I don't know, guys. Let's try it again. And it's very dry, by the way. The finish is very dry, very smooth, very, very subtle. There's no kind of, you know, weird taste in this, like that olivey taste in Dos Equis. <clears throat> you know, um, I'm definitely going to have to say this is definitely um, a B minus I'll go C plus to a B minus somewhere in that category <coughs> excuse me but it is a very good beer it's very refreshing and you know it actually reminds me the character of it and when I say character, I mean the mouthfeel, the textures, the tastes, the carbonation reminds me a lot of a Miller High Life. It just has some of those same taste profiles. Um, but, like I said, according to um, Wikipedia, it is an American adjunct style lager. Not sure about the adjunct part. I can't personally taste any corn in it. I definitely can't taste any rice. So if anybody knows for sure whether or not it's, in, you know, it's adjunct or not, let me know. Anyway, C plus to a B minus. This is part three of the Mexican special of Mississippi Beer Reviews. C plus to B minus. So stay tuned for part three. Four. Later.